The Microsoft Audio Lab in Redmond, Washington is the quietest place on planet Earth. And today, we're gonna find out why. Hey friends, welcome back to Vinylize. I am Jarrett New, and today we're gonna to be talking about the quietest place on planet Earth. And we're also gonna cover anechoic chambers, which are really interesting, because overall they are scientifically the most quiet places that human beings have ever designed. And being that this channel is all about music and sound, I thought this would be a really cool topic that we could talk about. Now, before we dive into all of this really cool stuff, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. The more thumbs in the air, the more videos are gonna come your way. Also, so we're not going to be talking about vacuums in this video. No, not those vacuums. I'm talking about the vacuums that are created when you remove all of the air from a given space to create an environment where sound cannot physically exist. Kind of like space. Space is a perfect vacuum. So in this video, we're only going to be talking about places where human beings could actually survive, meaning there's still air. Okay, now first off, what the heck is an anechoic chamber? Well, the word anechoic means no echo. So an anechoic chamber means a chamber with absolutely no reflections, no reverb, no echo at all. Now, that concept is pretty strange to us because in our human experience, sound always has an echo. Like for example, if I clap my hands together like this, what happens is the vibrations from that clap move outward through the air, and once they reach my eardrum, I hear the sound of the clap. And when that vibration bounces off of a hard surface like a wall, and then it comes back to my ear, that's what's called an echo. This is pretty common, simple stuff. So really we've got two sounds happening, the original sound from the clap, and then the delayed echo bouncing off the wall. Now, these two sounds happen almost immediately, so we don't ever really notice them, unless we're in a really big tunnel or a parking garage. Hello, 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 hello. Kind of like that, you know what I mean? So in our daily lives, we hear echoes left and right, and we've completely gotten used to it. Our brain tells us this is how sound should sound. This is what's normal. But what if we removed the echo? How would people react? Would they freak out or would they be cool with it? And even if we were gonna do that, how exactly do you remove an echo? Well, we need to make some sort of a chamber, an anechoic chamber. Well, I'm very happy to announce that smart human beings a long time ago did just that. And currently throughout the modern world, there are many anechoic chambers currently in use right now for lots of different purposes. Now, how do we remove echoes? Well, basically all you have to do is put a lot of giant foam wedges on the walls, floor, and ceiling in order to absorb and trap the sound. So because of these awesome designs, we never hear the echo, only the source of the sound, which makes things really sound weird. For example, here's a guy clapping inside one of these chambers. Because we all know what hand clap sounds like in normal rooms, we'll hear the sound that it gets bounced around off the walls and the ceiling. In here, we don't have that. So all you're gonna hear is the sound coming from my hands to your ears or to the camera's microphone. So it sounds very dead. So there's no, it's, you're just hearing the direct sound. There's nothing coming off these walls. Pretty cool, right? A simple clap sounds dead and lifeless without that echo. And here's a dude popping a balloon. That's how I have it sideways. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. All right. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. And just for fun, here's a balloon filled with hydrogen gas blowing up. Dr. Gee and his research team discovered that this common classroom demonstration is just as loud as a shotgun blast. Beyond the walls of the anechoic chamber though, sound is always happening. It's everywhere around us. And for students majoring in acoustics, a great variety of employment options await them after graduation. Now, it's not all fun and games because these chambers are primarily used for scientific purposes, like testing out the sound quality and noise levels of everything from musical equipment to cars and even cell phones. In fact, Apple spent a reported $100 million which is like a drop in the bucket to them. It's like nothing, they're so rich. 
So they spent $100 million on 17 different anechoic chambers where they could test the sonic qualities of their products, primarily their mobile devices and cell phones. So, you know, the iPhones and the iPads. Now, surprisingly, Apple does not have the Guinness World Record title for the quietest place on the planet. That record currently belongs to their rival at the Microsoft Audio Lab in Redmond, Washington. Now, just like Apple, Microsoft also uses these places to test out their products. And in building number 87, there are three anechoic chambers, the largest of which blocks out radio frequencies, has its own separate foundation from the rest of the building, and it sits on top of springs. So we're talking about a very isolated chamber. Now, according to mathematicians, the quietest sound theoretically possible is negative 23 decibels, which is also called Brownian motion. This is the sound of air particles bouncing off of each other. So that is the lowest limit that you can possibly go without removing the air entirely and creating a vacuum like we talked about earlier. And to give you an idea of just how quiet Brownian motion is, the sound of a pin drop in a silent room is one decibel, just one. So imagine 24 decibels below that. This is beyond silence. This is sub silence. And in that kind of space, you can hear things like your heart beating really loud, your lungs filling with air, and the rustling of your clothes. And some people have even heard the sound of the blood flowing in their neck. So basically, with the near absence of sound, our brain starts to compensate by turning up the volume inside of our head which is really cool. Now, how close can we get to this lowest limit of negative 23 decibels? Well, originally, the Guinness World Record holder was Orfield Laboratories, who managed to get down to negative 13 decibels, which was pretty impressive at the time. But then, in October 2015, Microsoft attempted to smash this record, and they succeeded. They got down to negative 20.6 decibels, which is only 2.4 decibels away from the quietest sound possible, which is pretty mind-blowing. So if you want to check out that video, I'll have it down in the video description below. Now, the chamber at Orfield Labs and Microsoft's building number 87 were both designed by a company called Echo Laboratories. So you could see say that these people make the quietest places on earth. So if you have a ton of money and want to build your own anechoic chamber, you should probably give them a call. Now, do some people freak out in these chambers? Absolutely yes, they do. Some people have experienced everything from aural hallucinations, dizziness, claustrophobia, vertigo, and just general paranoia but other people might actually enjoy the silence and find it comforting. For example, the anechoic chamber at Orfield Labs helped one Navy officer experience a little peace and tranquility. Check it out. Where you can literally hear a pin drop, this sailor asked for an escape. Okay, let's settle in. Nick Hare lasted more than an hour. How are you? I'm okay. Let's see if you can actually stand up. Okay. Um, and how do you feel? I feel wobbly. A sailor getting his sea legs. Do you hear those planes landing? Not on right the aircraft now. Carrier? I can't do it right now. It's, it's really interesting. So it is erased. I believe so. And finally, that elusive peace and quiet. So it really depends on your state of mind. Do you meditate? Are you stressed? Are you anxious? Are you an extrovert or an introvert? All of those factors can affect how your mind adjusts to this type of environment. Now, what do you guys think about anechoic chambers? Would you feel relaxed or would you be freaking out? Let us all know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, join the Vinyl Army and hit subscribe because I'm gonna be coming out with a lot of great videos every week that you guys are not gonna wanna miss. Be sure to find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and more. More, all my social media stuff is down in the description below. And most importantly, guys, have a great day and keep spinning that vinyl. Imagine spending the whole night there.